Welcome back to another episode of Quantum Computing. In this episode, I want to talk about bracket notation, uh, which is a standard notation in quantum mechanics for describing quantum state. And it was introduced by Paul Dirac, a physicist and one of the pioneers of quantum mechanics. So in classical physics, we show every vector by uh, showing that well, this is a vector and this is an arrow uh, in top of the vector to show that this is a vector. But in quantum mechanics, we use this notation, uh, which we call it ket, as a standard notation for uh, representing vectors. So we don't use this in, uh, notation anymore, and we use ket notation for representing vectors. But every vector in complex uh, n-dimensional complex vector space represent by n uh, complex numbers. So for example, if I have v1 until vn as vi belongs to complex numbers, then I have a vector in n-dimensional vector space. And uh, I say that this vector belongs to cn, uh, which is a set of all uh, vectors of dimension n or, or, and complex numbers. But I can represent, uh, I can represent every vector like this, v1, till Vn uh, by this linear combination, V1 times 1, 0, 0, plus V2 times 0, 1, 0, 0, plus Vn times 0, 0, times 1. And um, we know that every real number is also a complex number, so this vector belongs to Cn. And we could say that uh, the set of complex number, uh, uh, the set of uh, n-dimensional vector space over complex number generated by these vectors, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0 until 0, 0, 1. And we have uh, n vectors here, and these are a basis for uh, this vector space. And the basis uh, technically is a linearly independent vectors that also uh, generate uh, all vectors in vector space. So by choosing the different coefficient from complex numbers, v1, v2, until vn, we could generate uh, every vector in this uh, n-dimensional uh, complex vector space. But uh, also, uh, we have, because this is a vector space, we have a vector O, which is vector zero, and all component of this vector uh, is equal to zero, but uh, we don't use this notation for this vector zero because this is uh, for vector one zero, which belongs to two dimensional vector space. And so uh, vector zero in n dimensional complex vector space is not ket notation of zero. So this is not the case. And because uh, we deal with uh, complex numbers uh, and complex vectors, if I have vector psi, which elements v1, v2, until vn, then we could talk about uh, Com uh, conjugate of each uh, complex conjugate of each uh, element vi. So if we uh, define the con conjugate transpose of this vector by this notation, then I have a row vector which all elements are complex conjugates of the elements of psi. So we call this 
Cat called this bra. So we have cat notation and bra notation here. And bra actually is conjugate transpose of the cat. So for example, if I have a vector psi1, which is v1 until vn, then we know that psi1 is v1 star till vn star. I have another vector psi2, which is w1 until wn. But if uh, I can define the inner product between psi1 and psi2 by this, if I multiply psi1 uh, bra with psi2 cat, I have, uh, I can write this inner product by psi1, psi2, which is a multiplication of rho vector uh, bra psi1 in column vector psi2 and the result is uh, v1 star w1 until vn star wn and this is a complex number what if uh, we calculate the inner product uh, of a vector psi uh, to itself so if psi is vector v1 till vn then we could define bracket multiplication of psi and psi and the result is y uh, v1 star until vn star times v1 Vn and we could say this is V1 star V1 until Vn star Vn but we know that because we are uh, V1 and V2 until Vn are complex numbers uh, we know that for complex numbers Z uh, Z times uh, complex conjugate of Z is equal to magnitude of Z square so the first uh, element is magnitude of v1 square and also we have magnitude of vn square and this is a real number. So the inner product of the vector uh, uh, on itself is a real number and uh, we could represent these uh, real numbers as a sum of probabilities but uh, we could talk about it later. We have Two specific uh, vectors which is in, important in quantum computation and these vectors are vector 0 which is 1 0 and vector 1 which is 0 1 and these two vectors are in C2 so these are two dimensional uh, Vector two dimensional vectors in a two dimensional vector space, complex vector space, and we could uh, we have seen that every qubit can be represented by alpha zero plus beta one, such that the magnitude of alpha square plus magnitude of beta square is equal to one, and uh, the reason uh, here is that. Uh, because alpha and beta are complex numbers, uh, magnitude of alpha square represents the probability of collapsing system to a stage zero, and magnitude of beta square uh, representing the probability of collapsing system to a stage one. But we have seen that uh, because this is uh, vector one zero, and this is vector zero one, and we have seen that uh, C2, for example, a basis for C2 is 1, 0, and 0, 1, which means that every vector in C2 
um, can be generated by linear uh, combination of uh, these two vector which coefficient comes from complex numbers uh, then this is actually vector alpha and beta and bracket multiplication of psi with psi is magnitude of alpha square plus magnitude of beta square from previous slide so we know that this quantity is equal to one and system with probability alpha square collapses to zero and with probability magnitude of beta square collapses to one let me compute uh, four different uh, inner product here 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. 0, 0 is actually this multiplication, this matrix multiplication, which you can check easily. It is equal to 1. And uh, 0, 1 is 0, 1 times 1, 0 equal to zero uh, sorry this is this is vice versa because this should be one this should be zero this should be zero this should be one and uh, the next one is one zero zero one one zero is equal to zero and the final one is zero one times 0, 1 is equal to 1. But we know that uh, if the inner product of two vector is equal to 0, it means that these two vectors uh, are perpendicular to each other. And uh, so there is no uh, information uh, that is share between these two so because every uh, information about uh, zero uh, is different from the uh, every information about one so for example in the first case it somehow says that uh, if you measure the system and we observe zero the probability of observing uh, zero is one which is trivial but if uh, the system collapses to zero the probability of observing one is zero, and this is this is uh, correct. But every uh, vector, every uh, qubit like this, which is alpha zero plus beta one, which is a linear combination of zero and one state, uh, is uh, we don't know the state of this uh, qubit before measurement but when we measure the state it collapses either to this one or that one and uh, with probability alpha square collapses to zero and with probability beta square it collapses to one and uh, this is uh, all thing we need to know about bra and cat notation uh, just for recap for recap we have uh, we define vector in n-dimensional uh, complex space by this notation, which we call it ket, and we have uh, we have another notation for complex conjugate. Uh, the conjugate transpose of this vector which is a row vector that every element is conjugate of the element of psi and example of and we call this bra notation an example could be something like this for example i have a two-dimensional uh, complex vectors vector in complex vector space then the ket is 1 plus i and 2 minus 3i as a column vector 
and bra is psi 1 minus i which is a conjugate of 1 plus i and 2 plus 3i which is a conjugate of the uh, 2 minus 3i and uh, if we compute psi psi it is actually uh, 1 plus i square plus 2 minus 3i square and we know that this is 1 square plus 1 square and this is 2 square plus minus 3 square and the result is 1 plus 1 plus 4 plus 9 and the final result is 15 and uh, this this is not the probability here because this is not normalized vector and uh, the coefficient uh, are different but if we normalize this vector then we could see that if it defines psi as 1 plus i over square root of 15 0 plus 2 minus 3i over a square root of 15 1 then I have a qubit uh, with two different uh, probability and probability of uh, collapsing to 0 is 1 plus i over a square root root of 15 to the 2 which is 1 plus 1 divided by 15 which is 2 over 15 and with probability 2 over 15 system collapses to 0, zero and with probability 13 over 15 system collapses to 1 because uh, these two probabilities are uh, complete each other and uh, we have uh, a qubit as a two-state quantum system which is a vector in two-dimensional um, uh, vector space so again a qubit another definition of qubit is a vector in two dimensional complex vector space and uh, because we have two specific state and system collapses with in, in one of these two states with some probability and we have seen some uh, example here in the next video i will talk about uh, another representation of qubit in a block sphere which is uh, an interesting one and uh, here we have qubit in two-dimensional complex vector space which is a four-dimensional real uh, space and we cannot see a four-dimensional real space and we have to somehow project this representation to the three-dimensional uh, real vector space and we have uh, shown we will show this in in the next video thanks for watching this video